Taurus, let's see what messages are coming through for you this week in love. Let's see what the overall energy is for you in love at this time at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, sexy, hot, remorseful, regretful, losing sleep. Three of coins, wanting to really work things out with someone. Wanting to have romantic times with lots of passion. Look at this. The Ace of Wands with the with the Empress card is also indicative of the potential to get pregnant. And the Sun card. Okay, so look at this. What are you worried about? This is an incredible spread of cards, and yet at the bottom of the deck, you're worried about something, Taurus. You're worried about somebody probably getting mad and just deciding to move. This is this is a really interesting uh, under the deck reading. Okay, so we're going to look at your energy first. Then we'll look at their energy, what's hidden. Okay, so your energy, Taurus, is the Three of Coins. Their energy is the Seven of Cups. What is hidden? Temperance card. What you need to know. Ten of Coins and what's your outcome? Nine of Swords. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. It's a very interesting reading. So your, your energy Taurus, is the Three of Pentacles. So you have a relationship in which you really want to work on it. You want to work on a collaborative relationship with a loved one. So you get the Queen of Pentacles, we get the Devil card, and we get the Nine of Pentacles. So Taurus, you have this really, you're stuck in being single, but you'd actually like to have this relationship become um, possibly a marriage because the Queen of Pentacles is married. You definitely feel like you give a lot to the relationship, but Taurus, it does show when I get the devil energy, that's your energy. You feel very stuck. There's something that feels very stuck here. It also can mean that you're trying to control the situation. We have the three of coins. You want a collaborative relationship, and you want it with somebody who's very single, very attractive. Your person, what's going on with them? Oh, they are ready to blow their top. That's Aries energy. Ten of swords, they feel stabbed in the back. Oh, Taurus. Oh, your person would rather be alone than to be unhappy. Straight up, your person is definitely in a mood. They feel like there's a lot of drama. The temperance card is that both of you really want the relationship to work. That's what's hidden. Seven of Swords, but there's lies, there's mischief, there's, there's something going on within the relationship that needs to be healed, and yet... So somebody's been evicted, somebody's been left out in the cold. I don't think it's you because you're coming in as a temperance, your temperance, your star. Here you are, Taurus, in your own reading. But there you're keeping secrets. Why are you keeping secrets here? Because this is what's hidden and it's you and you're the one with the devil energy here. So there's something that you must feel really defensive about. Okay, so the outcome, well, what you need to know is the Ten of Coins. So your person is really invested in you. They put a lot of time and effort into this relationship. It feels for many of you that it is either marriage-like or you're married. Take it as it resonates. But the Ten of Coins is that secretly the two of you are in a good situation. It looks as though you love each other a lot. I don't think you have as much fun as you used to. The Nine of Cups is usually eat, drink, be merry, have fun. And it looks like you've lost a little bit of that pizzazz in the relationship. We get that, you know, your soulmates here. A very strong soulmate bond between the two of you. The relationship has the potential to really go the distance and, and be a legacy in both of your lives. Till death do us part kind of an energy. But what we see is a lot of ego-driven uh, fighting. The justice card, something isn't fair in the relationship. It's not balanced. One person seems to feel as though their stuff is the most important stuff, Taurus. Let's look. This is so confusing, right? I mean, it's a very... Taurus, yours and Aries relationship readings are always very tied up together. So many of you have Taurus, Aries, rising things and that sort of thing. So the reading ends with 
the nine of swords remorse regret not being able to sleep at night tell us something about this relationship why can't you sleep at night you feel very defensive very guarded you feel as though things are going very slowly something is going too slowly the hanged man it's virtually going to stop you feel taurus that you could get hung out to dry that you're at a crossroads that you're going to have to make a very important decision executive suite there you are that whatever decision you make here can really mean that it means the success or the failure of this relationship taurus that's what I'm getting. Seven of Cups, you're really lost in your worries, your fears. There's many ways you can go on this, but your person, let's see, why Why do they have the Tower card? Well, Ten of Coins, they want, they want the legacy also. So what's hidden here is your person really wants this legacy, but they will absolutely, if they feel as though they've been betrayed or stabbed in the back, or you've been keeping secrets or you're keeping your options open and I will say that you appear to be doing that and with your energy you have the devil card so Taurus tell me what on earth is going on in your life that's making this so difficult because it looks as though whatever this is whatever problem with the seven of swords and all the harsh energy here seems to be coming from your side okay only because it looks like it's something you're trying to hide. Why is why else is a tower card here? For one, your person wants you to themselves. They want to move through life with you. Ten of Swords represents that they think that you stab them in the back, that you choose everybody else over them. This person absolutely adores you, Taurus. They absolutely love you. You are their happy space. But the truth be told is that they will bring that power down. Yeah, Eight of Swords, they're not gonna have it. So whatever it is that's happening, whatever secrets are being harbored, it just looks as though your person is going to walk away. And I think that that's where the fear is. You seem to know that they will pull the plug, that the judgment card is here, that looks like a repetitive argument that you've had many times before. And it looks like it's back again with a vengeance. It looks as though your person is just not, they're just not going to partake. I just see them wanting you very dearly, but I also see that they're at the breaking point. If this doesn't go right this time, it looks like a, a round and round cycle that you go through. Tell us, Spirit, about the Devil card, please. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. All right, who's the apology going to come from? marriage this relationship is moving towards a sacred union see okay so the apology who needs to give you an apology though because i don't think it's your partner i don't think it's your partner who needs to give you an apology it seems to be something okay four of swords somebody that's wounded wounded you somebody that's gone silent somebody who's treated you with disregard somebody who's come in and out of your relationship who is this person please tell us a family member okay that makes sense so this seems to be an ongoing family a problem with a particular member that is really impacting your relationship in a very negative way tell us about the seven of swords self-care take care of yourself taurus what else do we have? You need balance, but you are in denial. You're in denial. According to spirit, you're in denial about how, how this is really going to impact you. That's what's hidden. Leap of faith. You need to take the leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. I feel, though, that I feel like you're both in this energy. That, that whatever ongoing fights the two of you have had, I feel as though both of you feel like, you know, it's a replay, integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? So 
you've got, I think you have somebody in the family that really haunts this relationship. That something, some problem, some family member causes a lot of drama, so much so that your person thinks this is toxic as all get out. And though they love you and though they want to spend a life with you and though you are their happy place, it looks like they're willing to walk. And you abs you've had this discussion before. They will do it. Th this person will do it. Because the Nine of Swords, you're all up in your head. So Taurus, I have pulled so many cards, I don't know what else to say. Leave comments below, I'd be so appreciative. And I do wish you the best. My heart goes out to you. This doesn't look like it's any fun, but it does look like it is solvable. But whoever the toxic energy is has to be, has to be uprooted so that it doesn't affect the relationship, your love relationship. Okay, thank you Taurus, bye-bye.